everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you're all doing well today i have a little charity shop haul for you it's not a massive one it's just some bits that i picked up over the last few weeks there is one charity shop near me that i always go to i visit about once a week with elsie and have a little rummage in there because it has some amazing bargains like it's so cheap it's like a um what do you call it kind of like an outlet what's it called donation center that's what it's called it's a, so it's a nice big one and like i said it's super cheap in there and i always manage to find bargains so yeah i've been there over the last few weeks and picked up a few bits and i thought i would show you what i got i've got some homeware bits some books for elsie as always um a few clothing bits so yeah i will show you what i picked up so the first thing i picked up was this mirror we're going to get a glare on that this one was five pound from the charity shop and it is basically brand new it hasn't got any tags on it but it's in perfect condition i've seen this a lot on instagram i'm heavy, heavily um influenced on instagram which is a really bad thing but i've seen this and i really like it it looks like the one from asda it doesn't have a label on to say where it's from but it looks like that asda one which i think is about eight or nine pound and this one was five pounds so i picked this up and this is for elsie's room when we do eventually move because right now she's in with me that's a whole nother story um yeah so when she does get her own room this will be for her room so that's the first thing i picked up the next thing that i picked up were a pair of vans now these are authentic real original whatever you want to call them vans they are the black with the white stripe these are for Tiana so she's put these on her Christmas list and I nearly bought them the other day off ASOS because they had a sale so they were like down to like £45 and I nearly bought them and I don't know what stopped me I think I just kind of put them in my basket did something and forgot about it so when I spotted in these in the charity shop I was very happy um these ones were £5 so they do look a little discoloured on this bit here but um i'm sure i can get that clean with like some pink stuff but yeah the bottoms are in perfect condition the tops are there's no scuffs or rips or holes um and these are a size four which is tiana's size so it worked out absolutely perfect so she's very happy to have those and then i don't have to get her those for christmas she's just got those now so it's not often that I find clothes in the charity shop. It can be really, really hit and miss. They do have a massive clothes selection, but you've got to have like a good rummage. And like I said, a lot of the time I go with Elsie, so it's very hard to have a really good look through clothes when you've got a toddler that doesn't kind of want to be there. She just wants to be in the toy section. But I did find this the other day. Well, I found it like a few weeks ago and I saw it and I left it. And then when I went back, they had it. So I got it. It is this Mickey Mouse sweatshirt um we are absolutely obsessed with disney in this house as you may know this was actually in the men's section so it is a bit of a larger fit but i like my sweatshirts like that like slightly oversized so it's just a black sweatshirt and then it has this mickey mouse on it wearing the headphones this one was by ink paint i had a little google and i think it's american brand um, i'm not sure let me know if you know down below and this one, I think I paid like £3.50 or £4. I got it a few weeks ago, so I can't remember. But it was cheap for a sweatshirt. So yeah, I got that. And it's like perfect for like autumn, winter months that are coming up eventually, hopefully. Because it's still like summer here. It's 23 degrees as I'm filming this. And it's the like end of September. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know what's going on. So can we please have autumn, please? Because I'm ready for sweatshirts and jumpers and yeah not t-shirts speaking of t-shirts i did actually pick up this one from the charity shop so it's this kind of washed out gray now i don't know how you say this let me know down below if you know is it nice or nice or nikki or i'm not sure how you say it um tiana has a sweatshirt in this brand and i saw this and it was only like two pound no one pound fifty so I thought I'd pick this up for myself. This was also in the men's section. I tend to look a lot in the men's section for sweatshirts and t-shirts, like oversized ones. Um, yeah, and I found this one. So it's a men's large. I'm not sure how it's going to look. It's mainly to wear with like cycling shorts and things. So yeah, this one was £1.50. 
so I thought I would get that one and then in the children's clothing section I found this for Elsie which I absolutely love if you've been following my channel for a while you know that I absolutely love autumn but I absolutely my absolute favorite time of year is Christmas so when I found this I was very very happy it is absolutely gorgeous so it's this red cape and it has this kind of faux fur trim around it and it's got a hood with the fur on it it's really hard to show you like this but it is absolutely stunning it clasps together just here I've tried this on her already and she looks so adorable like when she's got a little Christmas outfits on and this on to walk around in the like Christmas markets oh I just cannot wait so I picked this one up and this one was only two pound I like you cannot leave that for two pound look at it so yeah I cannot wait to dress her in this and all the little pictures and feeling all like Christmassy and yeah so pick that one up for her I then picked Elsie up a selection of books I'm always picking up books in charity shops they're super cheap and um yeah we love reading in this house so first one I picked her up is Angelina's Angelina's Halloween so I picked that one up then I got the big Alfie and Annie Rose storybook. Norman the Slug with the Silly Shell. This is Pepper Pot and the Treasure. Hoot and a Summer Story. These were like no more than 50p each. I Like I said, I always pick up books in the charity shop. So um, yeah, they're a selection that I've picked up for her. The last things that I picked up were these wicker chairs i have shown these on my instagram so if you follow us over there you would have already seen them and these are like one of my favorite things i think i've ever picked up in the charity shop we do have two but i thought i'd just show you one so they are little elsie size chairs um, and i absolutely love them i love this kind of wood wicker effect kind of furniture and we have storage boxes so these look lovely with it but I just thought these were super cute and um, I saw them as soon as I walked into the charity shop and I picked them up straight away because they were five pound for the pair so two pound fifty for a little chair for her to sit on and she likes having um, one for herself and one for her cuddies which is really cute and um, they are not like the sturdiest thing they are a tiny bit wobbly but for two pound fifty I wasn't going to leave those behind so yeah I picked her up those and that was pretty much everything I found so comment down below if you've been to a charity shop and any bargains that you've picked up. I'm trying my hardest not to spend money on unnecessary things at the minute. So I'm trying to limit myself of going to the shops. But I do like a little rummage in the charity shop. It's like my little guilty pleasure. And I'm not too hard on myself on it because it's not too expensive. I always find something unique and I've given to charity and saving like stuff going to like landfill and waste. So I'm kind of doing a good deed in a way. Um, and I'm not just spending silly amounts of money in Primark, even though we do love a good Primark haul, but that's something completely else. So yeah, let me know down below your favourite item. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in my next video.